Hello everyone, we will continue the topic background jobs and in the previous videos we understood how to debug the background jobs. Now we will move on to next topic. Our next topic is what are the function modules and a BAP statements for background jobs. Before I will come on to this topic, our topic is how we can go for background jobs through coding. Means whenever we will write the code for the background jobs, at that time we will make use of these function module or a BAP statements. Now just understand the concept. In the previous videos, what we did, we have a program. We simply went to SM36 transaction code. We mapped that program with the background job. And yes, that background job is running immediately. We can schedule immediately. We can schedule based upon specific date or time. And ultimately, our program is running in the background. Now, what is the scenario? Now, what customer is saying? Yes, customer will run the program in the foreground only. Customer will run the program in the foreground only. But whatever the portion of the program is taking too much time, that will be shifted to the background. Just understand the concept. Suppose simple example. Customer will run this program in the foreground. See, I am running the program in the foreground itself. Suppose in this program, the, there is a portion in the code which is taking too much time. So that particular portion only will run in the background. Suppose simple example, I worked in a project. In that case, the customer creating the matter in the foreground itself. But there is a background check. Whenever customer is creating the matter, there is a code for the background check. And that code is taking five to six minutes because background check is a very tedious task. So at that time, what we did, customer is saying creation of the matter is taking six minutes for me. Is there any solution for the same? At that time, what we did, customer is creating the matter in the foreground itself. But whatever the code for the background check is there, we simply shift it to the background. Yes. And we simply gave a message to the user. Yes, background check is running in the background. You can check through SM37 transaction code. So in that case, what we need to write the code in the program to shift that code into the background. Suppose simple example. If we talk about this program itself. Suppose in this program, we will go for two radio buttons. One is foreground and one is background. Now what customer is saying, it is its wish, it is his or her wish. He can run the program in foreground also. He can run the program in background also. If customer is choosing foreground, yes, it will run. If customer is choosing background, the same program, yes, will shift to the will shift in SN36 in and, and in SN37. So just see, customer is doing everything in the foreground, but yes, the portions of the code is shifting to the background. It means we need to achieve these requirements through the coding itself. Suppose I will go for another example. You have seen so many examples like this. Suppose what customer is saying, this is a real projects example. If I have more than thousand records in the output, shift it to background. If I have less than thousand records, just I will run in the foreground. 
these are the real time scenarios in that case what you need to do through coding itself you need to shift it to background in that case you cannot go to sm36 and sm37 and give the program name for the background jobs because through coding you need to achieve these requirements so this is our topic so what are the function modules slash a bab statements for the background job if sm36 and 37 are clear just think in such a way we are doing same to same thing through these function module or statements because ultimately sm36 and 37 are the core heart of the background jobs it means we will go for sm36 and sm37 with code with the help of function module with the help of a bab statements now whenever we will go for background jobs through coding we will make use of three most important function modules now what are those function module first one is job underscore open just compare it to sm36 transaction codes how you are going for sm36 in sm36 transaction code you are firstly giving the name of the job you are giving the job class and yes now same to same thing we will do with the help of which function module job underscore open it means this function module creates a background job so same to same we will give the job name we will give the job classification and yes system will create the job previously you created through sm36 now we will create through this function module job underscore open now after that, we have the function module job underscore submit or we can use a BAP statement submit also. We will cover the difference between both of them when the practical part will start. Just think as of now, but with the help of this function module or with the help of this statement, what we will do? We will add a step to the background job just see in sm36 you did the same to same thing after giving the job name suppose if i will give the job name you simply clicked on to the step and you gave the program name same to same thing we will do through coding it means with the help of job underscore submit we will add a step to the background job. Now, after that, if you remember, after going for the step, what you are doing, you are simply, simply going for the start condition. Once you give the start condition, after that, only your background job will process. You can go for date, you can go for time, you can go for immediate. It means same to same thing we will do with the help of which function module job underscore close. So this function module process the background job. If SM36 steps are clear, just think we are doing same to same thing with the help of three function modules and rather than job underscore submit, we can use a BAP statement submit also. Anyways, we will do the practical for the same. And at that time, I will tell you the difference also. So what is the summary of the video? Most important concept from the interview perspective also. If so far in the previous videos, you simply used SM36 transaction code to define the background job. 
After that, you check the status of the background job through SM37. Now, we need to use coding to go for background jobs. We need to write the logic. We took so many examples. Why, in which scenarios, we should use coding to go for to schedule the background job. Suppose simple examples we took. Suppose customer is saying, if I will run the program in foreground, if the output is more than 1000 entries, shift the program to shift the running of the program to background, else it will run in the foreground. It means what? Through coding itself, we need to achieve this requirement. Suppose second scenario we took, yes, there is a portion of the program. There is a code of the program which is taking too much time. And because of that, customer is waiting, waiting, waiting. Then in that case, what we will do? We will simply shift that code, but we will simply shift that portion of the code to run in the background. It means whatever the code is taking too much time, it will run in the background. Yes, suppose third example we take. Yes, if customer is saying it's his or her wish, they can run in foreground also. They can run in background also. So in that case, yes, we need to through coding, we need to run the program in background. At that time, we cannot go to SN36 transaction code because customer is running the program at that point of time. Now, whenever through coding, you want to go for background jobs, three function modules will play a vital role. And you can see, think, these three function modules are just like SN36 only. Firstly, job underscore open. With the help of this, we will create a background job. After that, we will add the step to the background job using job underscore submit function module, or we can use a BAP statement submit also. And lastly, for the background job processing, we will use the function module job underscore close. Now, in the next video, what we will do? We will take an example. We will take two radio buttons, foreground, background. We will simply, simply run this program. Whatever the sales, whatever the order details program is there, we will run in foreground also. We will run in background also. Depends upon customer wish. So in the next video, we will make use of these three function models. So that's it in this video. Thank you.